What's up, everyone? It's Dr. Jeff, and this is the 2022 Commemorative Fast, recognizing my mother, Evelyn Hubbard, and everything she did in my life and the life of others. Ladies and gents, day 55. Wow. Time flies when you are having fun. Today, we're going to talk about electromagnetic radiation. All right. So this is a real thing. It may not be something that you're really familiar with but it's affecting people's health all over the world guys we live in a technology age we live in the information age we are walking around with supercomputers in our pockets unfortunately because of the flow of data the flow of energy the flow of transfer between your phone and whatever system you're connected with it is bringing in a lot of electromagnetic radiation into your proximity. Be careful, guys. I really would encourage you no longer to put your phone up to your face, up to your ear for long periods of time. I know for me personally, it starts to give me a headache. All right. So once I started recognizing that listening to my phone directly to my ear started to make me feel uncomfortable and make me feel weird and make me start having headaches, I stopped doing it. So I exclusively use my headphones. And recently, I got a new phone. All the new phones, they don't have a jack anymore for your headphones. So you have to use Bluetooth. So, guys, we're starting to become ubiquitous with Bluetooth. You know, all of our devices have Bluetooth, whether it's your iPad, whether it's your laptop, whether it's your cell phone, whether it's your headphones, whether it's one of these smart watches, um, whether it's your Alexa system, whatever. Everybody's connected to the Internet. Everybody's connected to Bluetooth. So just be very cognizant of that. Sleep hygiene is so important, guys. We'll talk about that in another video, but this is a, a good segue into the next discussion about sleep hygiene. You need to put all your devices at least two feet away from you while you're sleeping at night. You need to give your body a chance to detox from that electromagnetic radiation. It is doing harm. If you want to get more into this, I, I caution you because it's going to make you uncomfortable. But look into some of the cell phone data from Samsung, from Apple, from, um, you know, so from the larger cell phone companies. And they'll show you that there's all sorts of electromagnetic radiation that's being bombarded uh, to your body. Um, and if you're not aware, it can create damage. And so they, they've given certain scores to certain phones to help you understand exactly what's going on and how this is potentially damaging. So what are the long-term effects, guys? We really don't know. So that's why you need to protect yourself. Be careful um, about how often you have your devices in close proximity to you. I mean, um, some are, are closer to you than others or required to be closer to you than others. But the reality is, is that if you can be away from them, do your best to do so, all right? We'll see you next video talking about sleep hygiene and some other great ways to make sure you get appropriate rest.